Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm doing another ultimate deep clean with me but this time it's in our downstairs bathroom. So first of all I'm starting off by using some bicarb and white vinegar and pouring this down the plug holes and then also putting the mixture into Ziploc bags to soak the sink and bath taps. I left this on for around 45 minutes while I went and did some other bits first. I also used the same mixture in one of the bags to soak the shower head. Then once everything had had a good soak, I poured some hot water down both the plug holes to clean them out thoroughly and then I took the bags from both the taps and shower head and sprinkled the remaining bicarb and white vinegar mixture all into the bath and sink to clean with. I wanted to let the bathtub soak in the bicarbonate white vinegar so I just left this for a little bit longer and I also sprayed some extra white vinegar all over some stubborn stains and onto the bath tiles up above the bath. To clean the sink with, I love using a toothbrush to get into any awkward or small areas, as well as a dishmatic sponge to clean the main part of the sink, and also this purple marigold cloth to wipe everything down afterwards. One of my favourite cloths for adding shine to the taps is with the minky glass and window cloth. This is an amazing cloth and it doesn't pick up lint or dust or anything. It's just a really handy one to have for the bathroom and kitchen. I keep two of these cloths separately, one for each room. But if you would like to see what cloths and also cleaning products I store and use in my under the sink cupboard, then I'll link that video down below. One other thing that I do when I'm deep cleaning the bathroom is I like to pop a cap full of Sephora down the plug holes just to sanitise them and make them smell a little nicer. Finally, in the sink area, I just wipe down the tiles and also use some white vinegar with this yellow cloth from the Spontex kitchen kit to clean the mirror with. Okay, next it's back to cleaning the bath out. So here I'm concentrating on the taps with the small toothbrush. And I'm also using some extra white vinegar and the toothbrush to clean the hose part of the shower head as this can sometimes get a build up of mould and we live in quite a hard water area so this can build up quickly sometimes so it's nice to just give this part a deep clean every once in a while. Then for the main part of the bath, I'm using the yellow scrub daddy just to scrub everything down. And for the tiles, I use this small green sponge, which is actually great for large surface areas 
although it is small it's just a really nice thick sponge so it cleans everything well. I will pop a list of everything I use including the cloths in the description bar down below if you want to know more about them. For the shower screen I'm again using the yellow Spontex cloth and the white vinegar to wipe the inside and the outside of the screen. Because I am giving the bath a thorough deep clean, I went ahead and wiped down the outside part of the tub to finish and then I just took the hoover and cleaned up around all the edges of this area. I usually keep on top of cleaning the toilets so I just decided to use up these Ecova wipes to clean the seat and base of the toilet. One thing I did want to deep clean in this area is the loo brush. So I just boiled some hot water and poured this all over the brush and holder and left it to soak. Then to finish I poured a capful of Sephora into the brush holder. I don't do this all the time but when I am deep cleaning the toilet I do pour some bleach down it just to give it a good thorough clean. Next I'm just going over the blinds with the Pledge Fluffy Duster and then to clean the window ledge I'm using some white vinegar and also the blue cloth from the Spontex Kitchen Kit. I had finished cleaning everything I just went ahead and gave the floor one final hoover and then later on that night before I went to bed I took the Vileda spray mop which by the way is amazing especially if you have 
pets who have little toilet accidents this is just so convenient to get out and spray you can also take the cloth off and put it in the washing machine and I use inside of it the method floor cleaner so guys thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if it's inspired you to do a deep clean of your bathroom don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye!